The Ford Maverick is a compact car manufactured and marketed by Ford for model years 1970 to 1977 in the United States, originally as a two-door sedan employing a rear-wheel drive platform original to the 1960 Falcon, and subsequently as a four-door sedan on the same platform. The Maverick replaced the Falcon in most of the world, but Australia kept selling and developing the Falcon. The Maverick was also manufactured in Venezuela, Canada, Mexico, and from 1973 to 1979, in Brazil. The name, Maverick, was derived from the word for in-branded range animals, and the car's nameplate was stylized to resemble the head of longhorn cattle. The Maverick was introduced on April 17, 1969, as a 1970 model at a very competitive price point of $1,995, $15,033 in 2022 dollars. It was originally conceived and marketed as a subcompact, import fighter, intended to compete against the newer Japanese rivals for North America, then primarily from Datsun and Toyota. The Falcon, Ford's compact offering since 1960 and main rival to the Chevrolet Nova and Dodge Dart, had seen its sales decimated by the introduction of the Mustang in 1964, and despite a redesign in 1966, was unable to meet the then forthcoming U.S. National Highway Traffic Safety Administration motor vehicle standards that would come into effect on January 1, 1970. Consequently, the Falcon was discontinued midway through the 1970 model year, and the Maverick repositioned as Ford's compact entry, giving the Nova and Dart a new rival. A bigger Falcon was a rebranded low-trim version of the Fairlane for the second half of the model year, then went away. The Maverick's styling featured the long hood, fastback roof, and short deck popularized by the Mustang, on a 103-inch, 2,616mm, wheelbase, and featured pop-out rear side windows. Nearly 579,000 Mavericks were produced in its first year, approaching the record-setting first year of Mustang sales, nearly 619,000, and easily outpaced the Mustang sales of fewer than 200,000 in 1970. Total North American Maverick production, 1969 to 1977, reached 2.1 million units, jumping gas prices and increasing demand for smaller cars resulting from the 1973 oil crisis caused the Maverick to grow in popularity. Maverick production continued for 1975 with the release of its intended replacement the Granada as a more European-style luxury compact. The Granada and Maverick shared the same basic chassis, initially available only as a two-door sedan, early models lacked a glove compartment, which was added during the model year 1973, early 1973 models still lacked a glove compartment. A four-door sedan on a 109.9-inch, 2.791-meter, wheelbase was introduced for 1971. At introduction, exterior paint colors were named with puns, including, anti-establish mint, hello blue, original cinnamon, Freudian gilt, and, thanks vermilion, along with more typical names including black jade, champagne gold, gulfstream aqua, meadowlark yellow, Britney Blue, Lime Gold, Dresden Blue, Raven Black, Wimbledon White, and Candy Apple Red. In the first half of production for the 1970 model, two engine options were available. A 105 horsepower, 78 kilowatt, 170 cubic inches, 2,800 cubic centimeters, straight six and a 120 horsepower, 89 kilowatt, 200 cubic inches, 3,300 cubic centimeters, straight six a 250 cubic inches, 4,100 cubic centimeters, straight six was added mid-year. For the 1970 model only the 170 cubic inches, 2,800 cubic centimeters, straight six had an option for a three-speed semi-automatic gearbox. Commercials and advertising compared the Maverick, at $1,995, to the smaller Volkswagen Beetle, which was about $500 less. The Pinto was later Ford's primary competitor to the Beetle in the subcompact class, while also competing in that segment with the Chevrolet Vega and AMC Gremlin subcompacts new to the market at that time. The earliest Mavericks featured two-spoke steering wheels with partial horn rings, also found on other 1969 Fords, while late 1969 production was changed to revised steering wheels with no horn rings. Also, the early models located the ignition switch in the instrument panel, while the cars built after September 1, 1969, had the ignition switches mounted on locking steering columns, as did all other 1970 Fords in compliance with a new federal safety mandate that took effect with the 1970 model year. 
A four-door model was introduced for 1971, available with a vinyl roof. Mercury also revived the Comet as a rebadged variant of the Maverick. Also for 1971, an optional 210 horsepower, 160 kilowatt, 302 SID V8 was introduced for both the Comet and the Maverick. The Comet was distinguished from the Maverick by using a different grille, taillights, trim, and hood. The Maverick Grabber trim package was introduced in mid-1970. In addition to larger tire fitment, the package included graphics and trim, including a spoiler. It was offered from 1970 to 1975. In 1971 and 1972, the Grabber came with a special dual scoop hood. A sprint package offered for 1972 featured white and blue two-toned paint with red pinstripes and a special color coordinated interior. The rear quarter panels included a stylized USA flag shield. This trim package acknowledged the 1972 Olympics and was available for only one year. A luxury decor option. LDO, trim level introduced late in the 1972 model year included reclining bucket seats in a soft vinyl material, plush carpeting, wood-grained instrument panel trim, radial tires with body color deluxe wheel covers, and a vinyl roof. The Maverick LDO option was one of the first American compacts to be marketed as a lower-priced and domestic alternative to the more expensive European luxury and touring sedans from Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Audi, and others. Minor changes were made from 1973 to 1975. For 1973, the 170 cubic inch engine was dropped, making the 200 cubic inch I6 the standard engine. Additionally, improved brakes and a previously optional chrome grille became standard. An AM FM stereo, aluminum wheels, and a slightly larger front bumper to comply with federal 5 mph regulations were also standard. In 1974, the Maverick was unchanged except for new larger federally required 5 mph bumpers for both front and rear, which required new rear quarter panel end caps. The Maverick received minor trim changes for 1975 that included new grills and the replacement of nameplates on the hood and trunk lid with Ford nameplates in block letters. In 1976, the Grabber was dropped, and a Stallion package was introduced. The Stallion option came with special paint and trim. Standard Mavericks received new grills and gained front disc brakes as standard equipment along with new foot-operated parking brakes that replaced the old under-T handle units. Sales continued to drop. In its final year, the Maverick remained unchanged for 1977 except for a police package, which was not sufficiently upgraded for police work and sold less than 400 units. Mavericks were produced in Brazil until 1979, the Maverick had no significant changes towards the end of its lifespan since it was originally slated to be replaced in 1975 by the Granada. However, Ford decided to keep selling both lines until the 1978 model year introduction of the Fairmont. 